Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to implement a basic multi-tenants with Django using subdomains. The tenants will share the same database but they will be separated by the subdomains. So let's open up editor and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is to create and activate a virtual environment. To do this I say virtual env and then the name which is just example and then I can go into it. And then I can activate it by saying source bin slash activate. So now I can install Django just for this environment. And I can set this task to done. And then I install Django and create a new project. To do this, I said pip install Django. This will install the newest version of Django and also some few dependencies that Django has. Great. So now I can start project by saying Django dash admin start project example which is just the name of the project as well and if i go into it cd example i can start a new app so i can just have this to done just so that i know that i've done everything correct so I create a new app for tenants and add it to the installed apps and then i say python manage.py start app tenant and i have open up open up the code here to the left so if we go into example and example settings.py I can go down to installed apps and say tenant and save but since I'm already inside settings.py I just want to add example.com and dot example.com to my allowed hosts because I have set up on my local computer that example.com just points to 127.0.0.1 and this is so I can use subdomains so I can now save this go back to to do's and set this to done next step is to create the models for the tenants so if you just find the tenant app here open up models.py here I create a new model called tenant class tenant this is to keep track of the tenants in the database models.model I want the name which is just uh, models.char field max length can be set to 255 okay copy this paste it and just replace name with subdomain and save if I now say python manage.py make migrations and python manage.py migrate to update the database and as you can see here I created a new model called tenant and then below here I create one more model class tenant aware model models.model I don't want this to be added to the database this is just something I'm going to reuse for the other models and here I want just one reference to the tenant. So tenant equals models dot foreign key. Pass in tenant and on delete models dot cascade. And then the last model I want to create is the member model, which is members for the team or tenant. So class member. This is going to inherit this, so I can copy tenant aware model and I can copy the name up here, which would be the name of the member. So if I now save, I can update the database again. Migrate. Perfect. So now I can set this to done. And then I need to add these uh, three models or two of them to the admin interface. So if I find admin.py, here I can say from.models import tenant and member. And then I register them by saying admin.site.register, sorry, register tenant and admin.site register member. And then I want to create a super user so I can go into the admin interface and add a few of these. So Python manage.py create super 
user admin admin at example.com the password too common but I still want to use it since this is just a test and then I can run the server again And if I now go to example.com colon 8000 and slash admin, I can sign in here with the user I just created. And as you can see here now, I can add members and I can add tenants. So let's just add two of them. Tenant one, tenant one, save and add another. Tenant two, tenant two and save. So now I have two tenants in the database and just to make sure that everything is okay I'm going to add one member to each of the team. So member in tenant one and member in tenant two. Save. So now everything there should be okay. So now I can go back to the to-do list again. I can set this to done and I can set this task to done. Next step is to create a utilities file. Here I want a function for getting the host name and one function for getting the tenants from the database. This is just to make things simpler. So in here, create a new file, utilities.py. And here I need to import the tenant model from dot models import tenant, tenant, and def get host name, pass in the request parameter, return, request dot get host dot split we need to split it on the port in case there are and then we just get the first one dot lower so this will give us the domain name or the, the URL you are on and then one function called get def get tenant pass in the request again hostname equals get hostname so then we use this function just pass in the request parameter and then we need to get the subdomain subdomain equals hostname.split just split it on the dot and we also want to get the first one because that is the one we have before our main domain name and then we say return tenant.object dot filter subdomain equals subdomain and we want the first in this list and save so now we're ready to use these functions in the view so then i can go back again set done so next i want to create a simple view so we can see a team or a tenant and get its member so if i just go to views.py from dot models import member and from dot utilities import get tenant def our team request and then we get the tenant by saying tenant equals get tenant just pass in the request and then we get a tenant object in return members equals member dot object dot filter tenant equals tenant if I go back to models.py, you will see that the member model doesn't have a tenant field, but that is because we are using this, we are inheriting the tenant from up here. So then the last thing here is to return a render request and then the template name tenant slash our team.html. And we can pass in the tenant and pass in the members and save so then i can set this as well to done and then i can create a template for showing the team in here create a new folder templates and in there one more folder tenant and in there the template our team.html before i continue i just want to say thanks to my patreons here I just want a title Here I just want a simple title tenant dot name and h2 subtitle our members 
UL and here I can loop through the members for member in members ally member dot name then we need to close the and for loop and save so I can set this as well to done and then I need to import this to the urls.py file so if I just find it there I can say from tenant dot views import our team part our team slash pass in the name of the view and just set the name and save so now I can set this to done the server is running but I want to show you my hosts file because to test this locally I set up example.com tenant1.example.com and tenant2.example.com to point at 127.001 so if I go to a browser to test this you'll see that I get this but if I go to tenant1.example.com slash our team you'll see member in tenant1 and the title tenant1 if I change this to tenant2 you'll see tenant2 and member in tenant2 so this can obviously be expanded to use authentication and much more things like that. But I hope you liked this video and if you did, please click like and share below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I answer as soon as I can. So see you in the next video.